Right. I mean, it feels good. Um, I tell everybody who's like in their late twenties that uh, you know the thirties is kind of the best time in your life where you just you know who you are, you know what you want, you know what doesn't matter. You have your priorities right, and I think in your twenties you're so much trying to like please everybody or you're trying too much to please yourself, but don't even know what you want out of yourself. So. You know, when you get in your 30s and, and beyond, I believe you just, you have everything in place. LeBron James has been so good for so long. Why at age 32, he is still as good as he was three or four years ago when he was supposedly in his physical prime. And playing this many minutes, having this much responsibility, at this stage, or in any stage, no one player has had that much responsibility. But this season has shown us that perhaps... He is getting old. I think he's in his 17th year. Right. That's what I think. And as an older player, he can't give that level of effort consistently. So therefore, you can't challenge everybody oh. else to do it. The real question is, is LeBron James getting worse? What is up, dudes, to that Spallers players? It's your boy, NJ. If we look at just the stats, LeBron might not look any different. He averaged 27.5 points a game, 9 assists, and 8.6 rebounds last season. This season, he's averaging 27.5 points, 8 assists, and 8.5 rebounds, only shooting 3% less from 3 and 3% less from the field. That type of variability is common among seasons, and that's why stats can be deceiving because just looking at LeBron, something is obviously wrong. He's the third slowest moving player on defense behind Dirk, who is a national treasure at this point, and James Harden, who has cleaned up his act but is questionable on defense. He got blocked by Mario for the game. He got blocked by a scrub. The point is, even with all the Lakers problems this year, LeBron is still one of the greats, and his possible decline shouldn't be encouraged. So let's break all of this down. And to all those that subscribe, thanks but now somehow 93% of y'all not subscribed. Most of you tell me that you thought you were subscribed and that was popping up in your recommendations and kind of like LeBron thought the Knicks and Lakers aren't different, that's wrong. We are trying to get that 7% higher than Lonzo's free throw percentage, so please subscribe. Now, who wouldn't want some extra money in their hand? And because I want to give back to the all-day community for supporting me, I found the sponsor for today's video in Jerome Young, who's offering y'all a webinar, Secrets to Getting the Highest Paying Work from Home Jobs and Living Your Best Life. Jerome has been on Fox News, Forbes, MSNBC and teaches you how to get work from home jobs that can pay $50 an hour. And then you could go to the games to see LeBron do this or this. This week he's offering a valuable webinar for free for the first 1,000 people who sign up from this channel at the link in the description, so check him out. It's free, teaches you stuff online, and it helps the channel out. LeBron has been so good for so long, and even this season he's still one of the best players in the world. But last season there was debate on whether LeBron was somehow getting better in his 15th season with a not so great roster because he averaged a career high in assists while still averaging 27 a game. And then in the playoffs, LeBron also went bonkers, hitting game winners, making Toronto LeBronto. He made them his big. He averaged 34 9 and 9 in the playoffs. The Cavs went 50 and 32 with LeBron playing all 82 games at the age of 33, playing the most minutes in the NBA, and went through the Eastern Conference to make the NBA Finals. His usage rate was 30.6 last season, and this season is. 30.8 but this season since his playoff mode has been activated more and more things have went wrong the lakers were 28 and 29 when lebron says playoff mode activated and now are sitting at 31 and 39 meaning 3 and 10 since his playoff mode activated losing games to the hawks the suns the grizzlies and the knicks during this span all teams that are just 
powerhouses in the NBA. That was sarcasm. All those games were inexcusable, especially for playoff LeBron. He hasn't been able to lead his team in the clutch either. Seven of those games were decided in the clutch with the Lakers going 2 of 5 and LeBron breaking free throws, shooting 57% from the line in the clutch during those seven games. LeBron shooting 68% from the free throw line and shooting 45% from the field in the clutch which is less than 55% from the field in the clutch he shot last season. The Cavs were also 30 and 15 in the clutch last season. LeBron's driving less and less the basket in the clutch because he's not making free throws. Even his finishing seems less prolific. While LeBron is driving to the rim in the entire game almost as much as last year, he is only shooting 54% on the drive versus 60% from last season. He just had his worst offensive quarter in his career. All this is visible and that is what the eye test shows on the offensive side of things. It's not too major but it definitely is not LeBron from last year. Not the LeBron that can just consistently carry a team to victory. LeBron only has 4.6 offensive win shares this season, which is his lowest since his rookie season. I wasn't even comparing LeBron to playoff LeBron, I'm talking 2017 regular season LeBron. I'm comparing this season to last season because we can see if there's a drop off. Last season he had 11 offensive win shares. The best version of LeBron in the regular season was the Miami Heat LeBron, the LeBron that was at the peak of its athleticism and energy levels. He had 14.6 offensive win shares in 2012. The last time he made a defensive team was in a Miami Heat uniform. But I don't think that anyone is arguing that LeBron is prime LeBron because he's not. But his offensive impact last season was at the same level of a prime LeBron. Now, there is way less of an impact and although the Lakers are not at full strength, LeBron's individual impact is diminishing. That being said, the offense wasn't the real main issue. It was the defense and attitude. But is his defense really that much worse from last year? And how much is his injury to blame? LeBron James was ranked 400 191st in defensive rating last season along with 321st in defensive win shares. Yeah, LeBron was not good defensively. He was horrible. <laughs> But it seemed like it was an effort issue. He was taking possessions off and just not really trying. He's 255th in defensive rating this year and 41st in defensive win shares, more than doubling his win shares from last season. But those stats don't tell the whole truth. LeBron is barely moving laterally on defense. He failed to switch, fails to rotate, provide help defense, but he was doing that last season too. He's not the Miami Heat LeBron that could spend energy on both ends even if defense is winning basketball and you need to play defense. The mistakes on the defensive end are more compounded because he's in LA and because the Lakers are losing so much, every little thing is scrutinized. LeBron in the playoffs ends up providing more on-ball defense in crucial spurts but even last year's playoffs didn't show too much defense. It definitely wasn't this horrid defense that he's shown the past two seasons and he definitely wasn't a liability on a defensive end. This year being defended by LeBron is a good thing for the offense. Everyone wants to go at LeBron before and after the grown injury. That is something that just wasn't that apparent last season. LeBron may have not really been trying to play help defense or rotating last season, but he wasn't a liability when defending on ball. And that is far from the Miami Heat LeBron that could just lock people up. Yes, at a point LeBron was a defensive beast, but that over the years has slipped away. Compared to last year, it's about the same, but his on ball defense has gotten worse. On top of that, he's starting to blame his teammates for his own flaws and that's a result of not understanding that you're not doing the same job that you were doing before. In LeBron's mind, it's possible that he's thinking that he was doing the same things last season on the defensive end and he was being able to be covered up, but this season, the media is more on it and he's getting a lot of flack for doing that. So to answer the question, yeah, LeBron James has gotten worse, both offensively and defensively. 
defensively. He's so good that he can get you 27-7-7 every night without too much of an issue. But his impact on both ends is not the same. It could be that he's in a tougher Western Conference and so he's being slowed down. And physically speaking, LeBron James seems like he's not the same dominant player because he's not able to impose himself on the game. He drives to the rim but doesn't always power through. He isn't able to carry teams in the clutch and his defense has dropped. That being said, this could all just be an effort thing. This whole season was taxing. Being in LA itself is taxing. We could see LeBron next year regain the throne and just be dominant. It's not like he's fallen off, it's that he's worse. He still is one of the best players in the world, but he has lost the title of best player in the world. And that in itself should be a sign that LeBron James has gotten worse. But what do you think? Has LeBron gotten worse? Will LeBron come back stronger next season? Drop a like for LeBron cause he still is a great player. And to the 93% that ain't subscribed, subscribe. We're trying to get that 7% higher than Lonzo's free throw percentage. Shout out to Jerome Young and his webinar that can help you get jobs and make more money. The Instagram shout of the day goes to Andrew and the all day notification watch shout goes to SV Boy. Thanks for the all day support. Make sure to bell for all the notifications and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button to the all day community for more fire content, all day support. It's your boy MJ. We out.